Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Crunker.io settings for 2020. This has been a highly requested video, so make sure to go and smash that like button right now and subscribe for more Crunker.io content. Before we hop in though, if you guys want to support me in the best way possible when you go and buy KR in the Crunker.io store, make sure to go and use creator code UCD in the box right here and click that save button. Whenever you go and buy KR, it supports the channel so much and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to everybody that has been using my code. But with that said guys, let's hop straight into it and check out my settings. And if you guys want to go and hop around the video, there will be time timestamps in the description below so you can hop around to the crosshair section to the gameplay section etc etc but with that said let's get straight into it all right so let's get straight into it starting out with the performance section because localization is pretty self-explanatory now as you can see I have my resolution at 1 so the game is rendering at 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution for my monitor now with my PC I'm more than likely gonna go and crank that up to 1.5 or even two in the future so my YouTube videos look even better so you guys get the best quality for my YouTube videos. Now my suggestion for most players keep it at one and if you have a not so good PC bring it down to 0 0.4 0 0.3 the game will look a little bit pixely but you'll get better FPS but for the most pe for most people out there put it on one. Now next up we've got frame cap and as you can see I've got it on zero that means I'm playing the game at unlimited FPS and as you can see I'm currently getting 500 600 FPS and I'm currently doing this tutorial in the official crunker.io client now if you guys are on Chrome Firefox and you're capped at 60 FPS but you have a good PC you haven't un enabled unlimited FPS link in the description below to my tutorial if you're on the client and you're not getting unlimited FPS go all the way down to the bottom and click that unlimited FPS car slider but with that said, most people right here keep your frame cap on zero so you get the most amount of FPS possible. Now with my aspect ratio, I'm playing at 1920 by 1080, a very standard resolution. With low spec mode, I currently have it turned off. But with that said, if you turn it on, the character, the uh, legs and the feet of the character disappear. Of course, the hitbox is still there. You're not getting an advantage, but it kind of would train your aim to go a little bit higher towards the chest and the head. So I might experiment with that in the future. Now when it comes to these uh, graphical settings right here, I've got them pretty much standard. Particles on 290, shadows, ambient shading, bullet trails, all of these turned on, but the only one that I have turned off is screen shake. And I have that just turned off just in case if, you know, the screen would shake, it maybe might put my aim off a little bit. So I've got that disabled. Now, if you have a not so good PC, I suggest turn all of these off. And as you can see, the game looks a lot, lot different. But when I go and put it back on, the game looks a lot, lot nicer. But also that comes at the hit of your FPS. So people with bad PCs, I suggest turning these off. Moving down into the interface section, this is a lot of personal preference right here. UI scale at one, that makes the UI quite big. If you go all the way down, as you can see, the UI gets a lot, lot smaller. A lot of players have it at 0.7. I just like having it as big as possible. Now, this is something that a lot of people have been a little bit uh, about using the old scoreboard. So as you can see, I currently have the new scoreboard enabled. And if I go back to here and turn this one on, as you can see, that is the old Old one. I've been experimenting back and forth. Currently, I am a big fan of the new scoreboard, but I might go back in the future. All right, next up, we've got the Sable Rarity animations, but currently this doesn't really do anything because this was added when the unobtainables were in the game. So if you went to Heroic Spin, there was an unobtainable and it had this, you know, flashing, you know, flashing icon right here going through all the colors, a signal like this is really rare, but with unobtainables gone, this doesn't really matter. So going on to the next one, dynamic HP bars. Let's hop into a game and I'll show you guys what I mean. 
So this has actually been in the game for quite a long time and if I go and shoot this guy, as you can see there is the white and the red. So the HP bar doesn't just automatically go dunk dunk dunk, it actually transitions through and that is quite nice. However, if I go and show you the other option, if we go into the settings right here, scroll down to uh, what's it called dynamic HP bars and turn it off. As you can see the HP bar will go down like dunk 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 and let's find an enemy so we can go and show that off. Okay, I killed him a bit too fast. The guy helped me out. All right, so if, we're go if I go and shoot this guy, as you can see, his HP just went, you know, the red bar just went dunk, 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 dunk. There wasn't that white, so the transitioning from a lower HP to a high HP. And personally, I actually kind of enjoy it. I might keep the setting on. It makes uh, the, the health of the enemy a little bit easier to see, and overall, I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of it. Going back into the settings here, show hit indicators, of course we've got that on. Show damage, so that's the numbers where it says 30, 20, how much damage you do to an enemy. Highly suggest you go and keep that on. Damage color and crit color, that is perfectly uh, default. Damage scale, those little numbers, they're a little bit big for my liking. I've scaled it down to 0.7. With show chat box, as you can see, it says always while focus and often. I like seeing people talk in chat, so I've got that on. Now for these one, I've got basically all of them on except for the score counter. So I've got death, uh, street counter, spectator counter. I probably should turn that off because I don't personally care and it, you know, it looks a little bit awkward in the top right hand corner. But other than that, I have got those all on. Ping, FPS and show movement speed, I've got that off because I don't really care. Alright, so the next setting is called name tag health number and if we go and turn that on, if we go and find a teammate or an enemy, as you can see it goes and shows how much HP they have left. But it is actually quite small and in the end of it, I don't really notice it that much. Against, you know, that enemy right there, I definitely noticed he had 170 HP and that could be useful against LMGs or let's say that semi there who has 90 HP, but in general I have it turned off. Alright, next up, let's go and check out my crosshair, and overall it is pretty simple. Go to type, put it on image, and this is my custom crosshair that I've been using for quite a long time, and it's the old custom crosshair from Eternity AU. So I just saw his crosshair, I was like, yeah, this is cool, I changed it a little bit, and it's now on my Discord server. If you guys want to go and have a look at it, it's under Crunker Resources, go to my crosshair, go and click that link, and as you can see, that is my crosshair. Here. Just go and copy that link, go back in the crunker, paste it in there, and you are all good to go. The custom opacity, I have that turned off, and always show I have that on for a very, very good reason. So, as you can see here, got that crosshair, it looking absolutely beautiful. But when I go and zoom into my gun right here, as you can see, since I don't have any red dot, I've disabled all of that, I've disabled the sight and all of that, I just have my crosshair. So, it's really important that it's always on for me. So my crosshair was pretty self-explanatory, let's move to gameplay and that's even more self-explanatory. X sensitivity, Y, aim X, aim Y, all at one. Layer compensation on one that is suggested by the developers. Scroll direction, I don't go and use my scroll wheel so it doesn't really matter. Streamer mode, that goes and randomizes the names of the people in game. I currently have that set off because you know when people see their name in game and they've played with me, I think it is pretty cool. Challenge mode, I've got that disabled because I don't want to disadvantage myself. I should go and do a video on challenge mode, I've never done it. Tell me in the comment section below if that's something you would like. But with that said, invert y-axis, I've got that uh, all set off and my gameplay section is pretty self-explanatory. Now for controller, since I don't use a controller, it does not matter to me. This is all the default settings. Moving down to audio right here, I've got my master volume on 0.2 because Crunker for some reason is quite a loud game. Ambient volume 1, guns, player, UI, all at 1. But voice, voice chat, I've got that set to 0 because I don't want to be hearing other people in game when I'm trying to go and record my videos. Alright, next up we've got view model and this is something so many people have been talking about. What's your field of view? What's your weapon field of view? Well, we have it right here. My field of view currently is at 100 and they're going to demonstrate what the difference is between what you're currently playing at and what I'm playing at. This is a field of view of 100. I can see to my right, I can see to my left, it is a comfortable number for me. But if I go and put it down to 70, look how like my vision is constricted. Look at just how little I can go and see on the map. 
It may go improve my FPS a little bit because obviously there's less stuff rendering on your screen, but in the end, if you want any way to go and get good scores on Crunker.io, you need to see as much as possible, right? So why don't I go and have it on 120, may you say? It's just a little bit too far out for me personally. I am very used to the 90 to 100 FOV region, so that's why I have it on 100 right here. And as you can see, this just feels absolutely perfect for me. I can see to my left, I can see to my right, I am all good. Now please note that if you go and modify your field of view right now, if you have it set at 90 and you say, oh, I want to go and try it out at 100, that will go and affect your sensitivity. So if I go down to 60 right here, my sensitivity is a lot higher than it normally is. If I go and put it at 120, my sensitivity is a, a little bit lower than it normally is. So please keep that in mind. Now following on from field of view, we've got weapon field of view, and I have that set at 120 for high possible. That means my gun is actually quite far out on the screen and that's a good thing because I don't want it really taking up as much space as it normally does. So for example if I go to settings right here and then I go down to like 80 or 60 or whatever, see how much space and how just so in it is on the screen? I don't think it looks that good. If you put it at 100, I think that's a pretty good middle ground, 100-100, but personally I have it set at 120. All right, weapon bobbing. I've got it set at 0.6. So that means my gun goes and bobs a little bit, but it's not detracting from the overall experience. Like it's not gonna go and distract me in any way, shape or form. But of course, if you go and put it on, you know, the max setting possible, the gun's gonna be going to the side and that admittedly looks really, really cool. But when you go and walk, it just looks so, so awkward that I couldn't go and do it to myself. But some people, professional players especially, put weapon bobbing on zero and as you can see, See, your gun stays static, but I feel like it just looks a little bit awkward. 0.6 is the best option for me. Now, weapon leaning. This is something I have set on zero. So if I go and move my crosshair, see how my gun tip doesn't go and move. My gun doesn't move at all. It only moves whenever I go and, you know, slide around the map or bunny hop or whatever. So if I go to settings right here and I put weapon lead leading on the max, if I go and move left or right, see how the gun goes and moves when I go and move my, uh, move my mouse. I find this super, super disorientating and I personally hate it. So I put it on zero. All right, weapon offsets, X, Y, and Z. So X is horizontal, left to right. I've got it on 1.4. It's moved just a little bit to the right. Y offset, I've got it on 1.4. That means it's a little bit lower. So if I put it on two, see how the gun is angling up? And this is actually, two is actually really good. I think Feels Good Man uses the setting of two because see how little the gun takes up on your screen, but it's still on the screen. So it still has a bit of a visual element. I have it on 1.4. Now, weapon Z offset is how far out it is on your screen. So I've got it just set at one default, but if you put it out to two, see how you get those spaghetti arms and all that? I don't like it any, I don't like it on two. I don't really like on any of these high options as well. So I just keep it on one. Now going down here, this is something that I've been debating on having in my settings for quite a long time. Weapon aim animation. If you guys don't know what it means, it's, it was been in the game for, you know, a decent bit, but it's relatively new. So if I go to the game right here, and if I go and zoom in, see how it's got that zoom animation when it, you know, goes in a little bit, Oop, zooms in, zooms in. But if I go to the settings right here, and I turn it off, see how the gun just goes, yeah doesn't really zoom to the middle of my screen. I've been using this option with um, the hide weapon on ADS option and I absolutely love it. I think this is really, really good and personally I would go and keep it all the time but there's just one thing that's, you know, just saying, oh man, I don't really want to go and do this full time for my settings and I'll show you why. Alright, so if I hop in here, I currently have the weapon aim animation off and as you can see, if I zoom in, it just automatically goes to the scope. There's no animation at all. For some reason with the sniper rifles, they've made it so the weapon doesn't go in for some reason. It doesn't go in like all the other weapons in the game. It just stays there and then you scope in. So it looks a little bit awkward. Hopefully that's something maybe Sydney could go and fix in the future. But if we go and scroll down to, uh, where is it? Weapon aim animation, then we turn it on. As you can see, 
the sniper goes in and it's like, okay, you're aiming down sight. Personally, I would go and have this option off all the time if the sniper just moved in a little bit. So, oh, you know what? I'll keep it on this for the rest of the video because that's probably what I'm going to be using for a while. Next settings are pretty self-explanatory. Hide weapon on ADS. Of course, when you go and aim down sight, the weapon goes and disappears. Now, if you go and have this setting turned off, and weapon aim animation turned off, it looks like this. And this actually looks pretty good with the alien blaster. I, you know, I have to say, this looks really, really cool. And that was a combo I've been running as well. I've been uh, with the AK, it just kind of zooms in. Let me go and show you. All right, so this is a combo with no weapon animation and a hide ADS turned off. So as you can see, the gun gets a little bit bigger on your screen. You get that zoom effect. I think it's really, really cool. So if you guys want this, to, for me to use this in my videos, tell me in the comment section below because I'm so so close for this uh, this to be my full time setting. But if we go and uh, we go and scroll down all the way to the view model section, this is currently what I have got it set at: weapon animation on, and then hide weapon on ADS. And as you can see, it just zooms in and then it goes away, and it's a bit more of a cleaner look. Rest are uh, pretty self-explanatory. Show hands, you turn them off, it only goes and shows the weapon. A lot of streamers are using this. I think it looks really, really cool, but personally, I do like to see the hands. Show primary, show secondary, show melee. Of course, all the, uh, all the weapons go and disappear. A lot of people have primary and secondary off, but the knife on, so you can just go and run around the map like this, which is pretty cool, and it goes and minimize, it maximizes your FPS and minimizes distractions, but personally, I I like looking at the weapon skins. Now going on to editing here, HUD high health and low, those are just default colors, pop-up score, default colors, no shadow. The scale, I have brought it down, I believe it's one by default. I've brought it down a little bit. I've shifted the X and Y offsets just a little bit, or if they're default, I honestly can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've modified it. Saturation in game and UI got that set at 1.8. I think that's perfect. It just goes and makes the colors pop a little bit. If you go and put it on one and we go and hop in, see how dull the colors are? Everything just looks quite boring and bland. Come on, go and crank that saturation. Go and put it on 1.8 or something like that. 1.8 isn't too bright. It isn't too dull. It's in the perfect, perfect region. And having it at one, which is the default, just doesn't look that good in my opinion. Color, uh, color hue, I just have that set at zero. Obviously, if you go and modify, it goes and just shifts the colors of the game, which is something I don't want. Vignet, I have set at zero. Chat opacity, one. All of these are default settings for the chat, by the way. I have not changed it. But one thing I do want to go and mention, though, is bullet traces, because I have this turned off. Now, Frosty Wolf went and told me about this, and it is a game changer. So if I go and turn on bullet, uh, bullet traces right here, and if I go and aim down sight, as you can see, it goes and sh uh, it shows the bullets and all that, and it does look pretty cool. But with that said, you've got this flashing white thing in the middle of your screen. It can be a little bit distracting. I, for the last couple of days, have had bullet traces turned off. And as you can see, no distractions, really easy to go and track, nothing going and blocking your vision and all that. So I think it is a really, really quite cool setting and something that's probably worth using. Now to be fair, some of you guys will be saying, but you have all of these enabled, but then you have traces disabled. I don't know, it's just a personal preference thing. This is my settings after all. So with that said, where are we? We got audio, we talked about that. Editing, we talked about that. We're on the last bit right now, and that is customization. Now, with load mods, I have that turned off. Auto load mods, turned off. I don't go and use mods whatsoever when it comes to Crunker.io, unless I'm doing it for a video. I just like the way the default game feels, and the new people that go and watch my videos, having the game look quite similar to what they can experience, I think is a good thing. So the game just doesn't look completely different and very alien when they first go and see my videos. Now for scope borders right here, I have it turned off. Very, very important if you are using a custom scope. I've said this a million times before. If you're using a custom scope, have scope borders turned off and I'll show you why. So if we go and hop in here, we go and scope in. There is my crosshair, it, uh, my crosshair, there is my scope. Looks beautiful, simple, just really, really straightforward. Now, if I go to settings right here and I turn on scope borders with a custom crosshair, it's got this box around it. I don't want this box. I want to see to my left, I want to see to my right. Now, with that said, 
with default scope image. So if I go and get rid of, uh, rid of that scope image right here, this is what you have when you first go and hop in game. Oh, disgusting. I can't see to my left. I can't see to my right. I got this black box around me around me and people didn't say, oh, you just turn off scope borders, right? But the image is stretched out, right? It's got, it's filled in the black basically. So in the end, you've just got this terrible, terrible crosshair. The default cross, uh, default scope, sorry, in this game is just really, really quite bad. So get a custom scope. I don't care if it's mine. I don't care if it's somebody else's. Paste that bad boy in. Go and do scope borders turned off. Uh, with scope borders turned off. Yeah, there we go. We don't want them on. And there you go, man. Beautiful. I don't have a custom hit marker image. I've seen some streamers have it. It looks so, so cool. So I'm potentially going to go and do that in the future. Reticule image. Reticule image is the... The little, okay, let me go and explain this. All right, so this next part is actually quite important, especially if you have always show crosshair on. So as you can see, I've got the AK-47 with the red dot sight. Now if I go and aim down sight, as you can see, I've got this red dot in the center and I don't particularly, particularly want that. So if you go to the custom, the customized section right here, and then you go to reticule, as you can see by default, there is the red dot and that's what the game by default goes and sets for the reticule, uh, the red dot on your site. So with that said, if you want to go and have a custom one, you go to settings right here and as you can see, reticule image. Now this is just copy and pasted by the game I believe, I didn't even do this, but I don't personally care about a custom, you know, red dot site and all that because I just have it turned off. So we go to none right here, we're going to aim down sight, it goes and has my uh, normal crosshair because I've always have it showing and that, you know, in the end doesn't really affect me. But if you guys want a custom one, go and put it in here, you can go and change the uh, size and all that. So if we go into here, we can go to reticule and let's say we want, let's say the triad one, that looks a little bit weird. There you go, it's on your screen and whatnot. I personally don't really like it. The reason why is you go to always show crosshair, you turn that off. See there is a bit of a transition period between your normal crosshair, the fading out and the fading in. I find that a little bit disorientating and that's why I just have always show crosshair on. I don't have a reticule, makes my life a lot easier. So scrolling down, match and message, use code UCD in the Crunker Shop for Big Pain. That's the classic. If you guys want to go and support the channel, go and have use code UCD in the Crunker Shop as your match and message, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner here. Profile image, this is just the profile image of my uh, Undercover Dudes uh, YouTube page. Ammo, I uh, kills, deaths, all of these are default. No damage overlay. I've got nothing really custom in terms of the way the game looks. I know a lot of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers go and make it look all weird but and all cool and all that. But I just have it uh, very, very default. Performance, unlimited FPS. Streaming, I've got window capture so it can hook onto my OBS, but that for the most of you guys doesn't really matter. And Discord RPC, I believe it, that is, it shows, you know, playing Crunker.io when it goes and shows in, crunk, uh, in your Discord, and I have that enabled. And that, my friends, is my settings. Now, I did remember somebody's gonna ask about my controls, so let's go through it very, very quickly. Most of these are pretty much default. The only things I've changed is my primary, my melee and my secondary weapon. So if I go in the camera right here, this button right here on my mouse is mouse 5. This one right here is mouse 4 and then I have E for my melee weapon. That is basically all I have gone and changed. Everything else is pretty much standard. Also, streak 1, 2, 3 and 4. I know they've got functionality in the game for more kill streaks. Maybe we could go and see in the future. That would be cool. Maybe a custom mode or something. I don't know. But off topic, those are my controls. And with that said, my friends, these are my updated 2020 Crunker.io settings. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more Crunker.io videos and content and live streams. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from down under out.